I've got an old Suzuki GS450 that has several engine leaks after a rebuild and so I decided that I'd take that thing back down, disassemble it and uh, try to figure out what's leaking on it and get it ready for uh, spring. Now to help me out, I instead of just setting the engine here on the workbench, which I've done in the past, I bought this Harbor Freight engine stand, the 1,000 pound model, and I'm going to adapt it to fit the motorcycle engine. Uh, there's several things on YouTube that have done this, um, but what I wanted to do is show you step by step how this is going to work and uh, follow through with it. So I tell you, it doesn't get any more exciting than opening up a Harbor Freight box, right? So this is it, the entire Harbor Freight engine stand. So the, we'll follow the instructions, see what happens. First thing they say is to put this in. The holes line up, but it's not the most precision drilling I've seen on here. But that's all right, as long as they go in, right? And this is fairly straightforward. Even I can figure this one out. All right, so basically this thing's ready to go on. This slips into the uh, This is obviously the engine I wanted to mount on the stand. So what I'm going to do at this point is to bought this angle iron and I will cut these pieces. I'm going to try this with non-welding stuff um, and mount this. Okay, I put the top ones on. I'm just going to do the bottoms now. I guess I should say. So I bought these two and a half or three inch bolts, which we'll use on this. Okay, now what I'll do is tighten this up, center it up so it's not too lopsided, but that's pretty much how this thing's going to look. Let me get you a side view here. Work, as you can see, it's, good. it's mounted a little high, and maybe what I should do is flip that around so when I put it on its side, it's not so top heavy. I think I will do that. All right, here's the engine on the stand. Um, actually sits on there pretty good. I wish it was up just a little higher, but uh, it is what it is. I could probably goofing around with it, maybe get a little higher, but uh, it sits pretty good. It will, uh, it spins. And obviously it's got the locking pin in here, so if you want to keep it there and work on it, you can, which will be nice. Um, so that's where this is sitting now, and what I'm going to do 
And what I will do is once I get the clay case split and remount it, uh, I'll show you how I do that as well. So here's the engine mounted just with the bottom half of the case. And the reason I did this is to ensure so I could split the case, which gets split right here and lift off the top. And the way I did this was I cut some pieces of conduit to act as spacers. I used these brackets that I uh, cut before, got a 3 8 inch threaded rod here. And then what I used was just square tubing um, picked up at Home Depot and again use the uh, conduit of spacers 3 8 inch rod and mounted it on the brackets here but the whole thing is very solid as you can see um, and now I'll be able to uh, flip this around take the screws out from the bottom take the top half of the case off etc etc so that's it using a Harbor Freight engine stand for a motorcycle stand. I hope this is going to help you as much as it will me. So until next time, ride safe.